Revelio. This place has seen better days. Revelio. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Revelio. <laughs> Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts, precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft, the other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. I'll be able to put that to good use. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. It's like a... Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Revelio. <laughs> Love 
place to visit. Now there's a student who knows how to... Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. Expel the armors. Rebellion. The crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Don't give me that look. You want to mind your Lumos. You before I take it into my head to do something that will give you a real look of pain. Revelio. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. <laughs> That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Thank you. 
Revelio. Revelio. Enjoy your time in Irondale. Shame about Polly. Rebellion. Huh. 
I'm further than dying, are we? Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. Enough beast flesh for everyone. See why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Revelio. Is the Traficus Totalis? Rebellion. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Revelio. Now he should be able to travel to and from Feldcroft in an instant. Rebellion.
Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Revelio. What do you have? I'm famished. Defender! Defulsor! Repairer! Levioso! Put me down! What? Protagor! Why can't I hit Repairer. you? Levioso! You get Defulsor! Accio! Incendio! Rebellion. Incendio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio.
Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Revelio. Rebellion. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away.
splendid. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Revelio. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Repair her! Revelio. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> the pulse of Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! 
Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. 
You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another Transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Thank <laughs> you. 
Revelio. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any com- and perform the altering spell to customize it. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deep, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. 
You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Rebellio. Thank you. 